A parallelogram with the same base and height as a rectangle has the same area as the rectangle. Theorem 10.1, area of a rectangle. The area of a rectangle is the product of its base and height. Area equals base times height. Theorem 10-2, the area of a parallelogram. The area of a parallelogram is the product of a base and the corresponding height. Area equals base times height. A base of a parallelogram can be any one of its sides. The corresponding altitude is a segment perpendicular to the line containing that base, drawn from the side opposite the base. The height is the length of the altitude. So note in the diagrams at the right, we have the altitude perpendicular to the base, and the length of the altitude represents the height. In the second diagram, we're using the left side as the base. In this case, the altitude is actually outside of the parallelogram, but still perpendicular to the line that contains the base. Problem one, finding the area of a parallelogram. What is the area of each parallelogram? A shows us a parallelogram with a height of four inches and a base of five inches. We also have a slant height on the left side of 4.5 inches. In part B, we're given a different parallelogram, base of two, height of 3.5 centimeters, and a slant height or side of 4.6 centimeters. We'll work through each of these problems together following the same steps. We're given each height. Choose the corresponding side to use as the base. So in the formula, area equals base times height. We'll substitute our values for B, the base, and H, the height. On the left, part A, it's going to be 5 times 4. On the right, for part B, 2 times 3.5. So for parallelogram A, that's 20. For parallelogram B, that's 7. So we can state the area is 20 inches squared, or the area is 7 centimeters squared. Your turn. What is the area of a parallelogram with base length 12 meters and height 9 meters?